looking at what your goals for the future are. It's a time to uh, to really reflect on where you want to go with your life, to realize your life isn't over. A chapter has ended, and you kind of need to turn the page and, and move forward. But it's also a time to make plans and to see all kinds of new opportunities. I, I actually call my counseling practice New Beginnings because... Um, particularly in, in divorce as well as love situations, sometimes you really have to see yourself as starting over and making a fresh start. And that does help you to gain a more positive perspective. Now, tell me a little bit about your, your business, the New Beginnings Counseling. Just explain to me um, how, how you got started in that and uh, what your main focus is. Okay. Well, um, I've been... Uh, in the field for about 25 years. Um, it's been a while. I kind of have questioned sometimes why I went into it. I think a lot of it is uh, being an only child, and although my parents had a pretty good relationship overall, I think I sometimes was put in the role of marriage counselor with my parents and um, just began to uh, think in those terms. I, um, I also have actually been through a divorce. Um, my first marriage only lasted four years, and it was a very painful process for me. And I think having been through that experience, I can empathize with others, um, really know what it feels like to go through that. And I can also extend some hope, because I have now been married about uh, 22 years, uh, my second marriage, and very happily married, have two uh, almost grown daughters, and I can tell people that even though it feels like it may never get better and it's a very dark time, um, there is hope, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, it's not a train headed toward them, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it, it's going to actually get better. You know, there, there's a feeling sometimes that your life is over when a relationship dies, but, um, you know, I can say that I'm happier than I ever thought I would be. I actually went through a period myself of depression and even had some suicidal thoughts I was struggling with uh, after my divorce. So I know how difficult it can be. How are you actually at the end uh, able to um, to get over your divorce? Did you seek counseling yourself? or I just, did, okay. yes. Um, I it was involved both in some individual and group counseling. Um, you know, I think a lot of it was my faith in mm -hmm. God, which helped me get through, realizing that God wasn't done with me, that there was still purpose for my life. Um, but I think for each of us, it's a, it's a process, and it helps to get to a place where you forgive yourself and your ex-spouse for the damage that's been done, and um, begin to move forward and, and work through your own grief. It, it, there is a sense that someone has died, it feels like a part of you has died uh, when a marriage ends, and I think um, you know you have to, to take the time to grieve that, and we all grieve in different ways, but um, it's important not to spend too much time alone. I think many people withdraw when they're uh, going through the pain of the end of a, of a relationship, and that's really a time when you need to reach out to others and not spend too much time alone. We all need a little bit of that. But it's also very important, I think, to be uh, involved with other people, particularly encouraging, supportive people. Okay, and we're almost out of time here, but time here. But I just want to follow up. And for guys out there who are listening, and they recognize the fact that they might need some um, counseling or support groups, are there any resources out there where they can find these groups or counselors that could specialize in helping them? Yeah, there's a group called Fresh Start. I think you can look online and get information. There's a number of places that have groups, um, recovery, divorce recovery groups. I've led some of those in the past myself. People can call me. I'd be glad to, to give them other resources that I know of. Um, there's a number of, of good books um, that people can read. Uh, but I, I do think, really, um, it is important to find other people who've gone through similar experiences that can relate to what you're feeling. Um, you know, there's um, Focus on the Family is a, a Christian organization that actually provides some free phone counseling and support. 
and then they can refer you to other counselors as well. Um, but, uh, you know, there's many, many resources available. Another one is uh, the American Association of Christian Counselors. I think it's aacc.net online. And it, there's a number of online resources there as well as um, a list of counselors such as myself that people can, can find. Um, I think that, you know, one of the important things is to realize that your identity as a person is not tied up in a relationship, even even your uh, marriage, although as important as that is. And sometimes we have to realize that um, who we are hasn't really changed, although it may feel like it. And we have to, to find our strength in our faith and our relationship with God and our friends. Um, and to get the love, nurture, and respect that we need from others, but also to give that to ourselves mm-hmm. and not allow um, changes like this to deflate our self-esteem or our belief in ourselves. It's important to take time to laugh, to have fun, and to learn new things, maybe to t- take up a new hobby, but to move forward, you know, do something to actively move forward and uh regain a positive perspective on life. You know, life is not over, even though the relationship has ended, and it's important not to let yourself give in to that kind of thinking. I believe um, forces of darkness would love to convince divorced men that their lives are over, and they might as well just end their life or just give up, and that's just so so much, so far from the truth. Mm -hmm. There's much to live for, and things will improve. It's just like there's a little dark cloud right now that you have to accept will be there for probably a few months, um, but it will go away and things will get better. Okay. Uh, that's that's definitely some great advice. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining us today, and we'll make sure to put all those links to the websites and to your website and your contact information on our website. Um, for our listeners out there, uh, Bill's located in St. Louis, and we'll put some links to some other sort resources out there for the nationwide um, ways you can look up counselors. Great. Um, I could mention I do have a couple articles on my website okay. that might be helpful regarding divorce and remarriage. I also have a coaching website. Uh, okay. So be glad to uh, talk to people and, like I said, share other resources if anyone wants to call me or contact me by email. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk with us about this important subject, and I know the guys out there will find it very helpful. Glad to do it, Stephanie, and appreciate you having me. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Once again, this has been another edition of Divorce Today on DadsDivorce.com. Thanks for tuning in.